friends, Ven here again, and welcome to another Hytale news video. In today's video, we will cover some controversial discourse within the community about whether or not the Hypixel server will suffer as a result of Hytale being released. We also have a special request from our last video asking to see some decorative unique blocks that have been shown in Hytale so far. Let's start with the decorative blocks we're going to see in Hytale. We hope this will inspire or at least get the wheels turning for those of you out there who love to build, and maybe even play Minecraft just to do so. We're sure to miss a few, so this is not a comprehensive guide, just some fun to get us excited for potential builds. Not everything in this video will necessarily be cube in shape, we are just referring to blocks as building materials. The first new and exciting decor we have are items similar to varying sizes of pottery, likely made from clay, skeleton heads, and bone piles. There are also statues that look to be made from chiseled stone or cement. To non-builders, this isn't really exciting, but for the creative minds in the community, these pieces are an excellent way to show the age of a town or a settlement. You could come across dilapidated temple ruins with Mesopotamian pottery and statues of a once magnificent empire, or stumble into a post-apocalyptic wasteland with bone heaps all around. This is a stark contrast to Minecraft, where without these artifacts, the only way to date a build is by the style of structure or architecture and maybe some missing blocks out of the side of a ruin. We also know that Hytale will have the void element. How cool would it be if you could literally bottle Void Essence, then use it on blocks within a radius or a die block like grass or planks to create a withered, corrupted effect on a build, biomes, or the surroundings? We've already seen that leather has two forms, full of uh, newish in appearance, or torn with holes in it. We wonder if there are two different materials with different recipes, or just the effects of these Void Essences. What do you guys think? We've also been shown wooden spikes that look extremely dangerous and hopefully functional with the ability to harm entities that fall on them. There is also coral, which is perhaps a little less exciting after the Minecraft Aquatic update, but they're still colorful nonetheless. As well, there are items such as food that you can place on tables as seen in the trailer. Rope is another key item that has a lot of decor potential. In the past, We've had to use fence posts, which don't always look like we like rope to look, so this is a really awesome change. Lamps are also another good block that replaces glowstone on fences, and we have different types from different zones. There are barrels too, which now also exist in Minecraft, but these definitely look better in our opinion, as well as some really awesome furniture. That's right, it seems as though the base game comes with furniture, and moreover, there are different styles that we're likely to see. Just like the roofing, the beds, tables, stools, benches, ladders, bamboo, windows, chests. It's kind of surprising. Minecraft hasn't caught up to having variations of chests and ladders by now. So, inside of this Quebec dwelling, we can see a cute hanging signpost and a wardrobe, a unique rustic door and a shelf, and some other planks that we've seen in several other screenshots. There's also some runes etched into the wood above the door. The first character looks like Earth, the second character kind of looks like the Void, and the third one almost looks like Wind, which in the Hytale universe means freedom. So perhaps this is some sort of mantra or prophecy that the Quebecs look up to as some sort of timeline or event. First there was Earth, then there was the Void's corruption, eventually there will be freedom. Of course, this is just purely speculation, and the runes aren't entirely accurate. For all that we know, they could also just mean, like, there's no place like home in the Quebec language or something. Who knows? Also keep in mind, they're going to have completely new atmospheric effects that aren't technically blocks, but assuming we have some control of how they appear, will be invaluable to designing a scene straight out of a utopia. For instance, fog in Hytale is so dynamic. It'll make floating islands with waterfalls a lot more realistic. There's also lens flares ideal for cinematic shots, so you can show off your builds in the best way possible. And taking another look at the block breaking animations, we can see the particle effects are so different compared to Minecraft. Thinking of the unique particles, there could even be fairy creatures that leave trails of magic sparkles that you could scatter around an enchanted forest. Potion effects to put on NPCs to make them look dazed or mysterious? Who knows? 
Coming up next, we have some insights from a business perspective that some of you may find interesting about Hytale's development. We have seen a growing speculative concern amongst the Hytale fan community that fear Hypixel will suffer once Hytale is released. There are quite a number of people presuming that Hytale will be relying on Hypixel's turnover to prop itself up and continue development well into the future. The only issue fans see with this is that crucial elements of maintaining a positive Hypixel experience may be compromised due to a lack of funds, such as development on new minigames, improvements on older systems, and most importantly, Watchdog, their anti-cheat program. These fears are reinforced by the changes the EULA regulations had on the Minecraft community, as well as the notion that Hytale could be a, quote, Minecraft killer. But we at Hytale News would like to suggest that Hypixel players shouldn't really be worried about this, and that Hytale will be completely independent and profitable. Here is why we think why. First of all, we are officially in the age of the Minecraft Renaissance. Its glory has returned. Minecraft YouTubers are returning. Hypixel has a crazy amount of players this month. Minecraft memes are everywhere, and people are finding it cool to enjoy Minecraft. It's no longer considered as this super nerdy niche game that people were once embarrassed to talk about. We have Minecraft Earth coming out soon, almost in beta, and Minecraft Dungeons. It's basically a fully realized empire at this point. So the idea that Hytale will kill a game that has achieved relevance a decade later, it's a little premature at this stage. Secondly, we know that Hytale has investors. Hytale has not disclosed the amount of money they have received, and we're not interested in speculating those figures, but the overarching impression from various statements seems to be that the investors backing them have given them plenty of time so they don't have to rush the game, meaning they can pay all the developers to put food on the table until the game is released, and they also have expert advice from big players in the industry. Let's run through those investors, because most people are only aware of one, Riot Games, the powerhouse behind one of the most famous and seemingly immortal titles in esports, League of Legends. They have become a lead investor in Hytale. It's one of, if not the, only public investment Riot Games has ever made, and the decision gained Hytale a substantial amount of free press from all the articles. They also have Dennis Fong, also known as Thresh, and he's a former pro gamer at first-person shooters Quake and Doom. He's also the CEO of Plays.tv, which is like a Twitch alternative, basically a streaming platform. Then we have Peter Levin from Lionsgate, a film and entertainment company. And finally, Rob Pardo, who's the former chief of content over at Blizzard, known for games like World of Warcraft, Diablo, Overwatch, and so on. All of these investors have basically put money towards the creation of the game because they believe in it. They believe in it from the gaming culture opportunity and also a financial opportunity. So the investments alone mean that this game has some really strong backing from leaders in the industry who definitely know what they're doing. If they thought Hytale was going to flop, they would have left it alone. Sometimes, investors also get to say in the direction of the company. They can give advice on agendas, like the business model, uh, where there are microtransactions, some content updates, but we suspect the founders of Hytale will retain a vast majority of creative input and direction for the game, and any input from Riot Games will likely be improvements upon already good ideas. As Noxie has said, they reached out to Riot for some friendly advice years before we saw the trailer, and well before there was an investment. So, we have some serious investors that believe Hytale will be a hit. Needless to say, the public are of that same belief. We have an overwhelming 50 plus million views on the trailer, with more than 15 fan communities and subforms created, but there's still another reason why Hytale won't need to rely on Hypixel, even if it is free to play. So in summary, you choosing to watch Hytale content before the game is even released is setting Hytale up for success. You guys are the community that Hytale, or Hypixel Studios rather, has already built from just a few glimpses of gameplay and a renowned Minecraft server. Hytale won't be a Hypixel killer, and people are capable of supporting both. When the game comes out, new streamers and channels will come to the forefront for communities to engage with, 
new fandoms will bubble over into what ultimately becomes fortified support for Hytale. The same way you guys are currently supporting Hytale now. We firmly believe both will continue to coexist and improve drastically. In fact, Hytale has already introduced healthy competition to Minecraft in a way that has never been done before, Cube World and Terraria being just a little far from comparison. This pushes Minecraft out of complacency and brings players better updates and a more inspired content. If anything, we imagine Hytale will support and bolster Hypixel and Minecraft, and vice versa. Speaking of community, we'd like to formally introduce you to Hyveria. We are still in early versions of our Hytale-inspired Minecraft server, but you can join a nation with a friend to take over the empire, or start from humble beginnings in your own town. Enter the mob arena to sharpen your skills in our mock-up of the previously seen Hytale cinema, Try your luck with the mystery loot boxes available, get rewards for voting, play with a steadfast economy with MC MMO and new updates coming weekly. We're so excited to see you there. Our Hyveria Discord has a channel just for suggestions where we take on any and all of your direct advice and suggestions from improvements, plugins, and so on. And most importantly, the server is lag free thanks to our amazingly and dedicated player testers who helped us get off the ground with this server. We want to highlight that the reason we made this server is for Hytale fans to be united and entertained during the wait for Hytale, and we are not affiliated with Hypixel Studios. Epic clans have already formed, and these clans will no doubt carry over onto Hytale once it releases. So don't wait for Hytale. Join now and find a clan so you're prepared for the best teammates for Hytale's launch. So what do you guys think? Let us know in the comments so we can read your thoughts on whether Hypixel will be abandoned in favor of Hytale. Was there anything you didn't know that we discussed in the video? And what are you most looking forward to building? If you did enjoy the video, it means a lot to us if you can support it by leaving a like and subscribing. If you want your ideas to be featured in any upcoming videos, be sure to join our Hytale News Discord server to have your say and meet the rest of the community. For those of you that have already joined our Hytale News and Hyveria families, Nitro Premium users are more than welcome to upvote us this week so we can provide even better content for you guys on the Discord servers. And as always, my name is Ven, and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye